Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to another episode of Free Plugin Weekly. Today we're checking out the MV Reverb plugin from Air Windows. So I watched uh, Chris's video last night on YouTube demonstrating this. It's a really cool reverb plugin. He describes it as being loosely based off of the original uh, Alessis uh, MIDI verb. So it's got sort of like a lo-fi sound, but it also has like this endless uh, quality to it. And you can just make the thing go on and on forever with the uh, regenerate or regen uh, slider here. Just to start, here's some uh, piano. This is just the piano dry, no, no added effects whatsoever other than like an arpeggiator. Pretty basic. And then I'll kick in the MV reverb. So like all of the uh, Air Windows plugins are designed to be simple. So it's a very simple interface, just five sliders. If you got your wet and dry, so your wet is fully, uh, full reverb, dry is fully dry, no reverb at all. Uh, you have your output level. This is the output uh, level of, I believe, the reverb. Let's find out. So yeah, that doesn't affect the uh, dry signal at all. And then you have the regen or regenerate um, slider. This one's really cool. This is sort of like the feedback in like a feedback type delay. Uh, this is pulled down. Um, the sound will sort of reverberate and echo, but if you pull it up, it'll just kind of keep going on and on and on forever. So let's start low and then I'll roll this up. And I just stopped the playback there just to demonstrate that with this at 100%, this will just kind of continue on and on forever. So Chris describes this as an endless uh, reverb, and it is when you pull this up to 100%. So I'm not going to pull it quite all the way up. Uh, there's a brightness control, so you can have a brighter or darker tone. And then your depth is sort of like your room size, like in a, in a typical uh, reverb plugin. If you pull this down, um, the initial echoes, the initial uh, pre-delay or whatever is kind of short. It makes the room, uh, the simulated room you're in here, a little bit smaller. <laughs> and as you start pulling this up and up, it starts sounding more like a concert hall uh, or a large space and you pull it all the way up, it really becomes a sort of like endless space. So it's really cool about the MV plugin is using it almost like as a synthesis device uh, running relatively simple signals through it, like this piano, uh, it, for example, and creating completely new um, sounds with it. Um, I love doing this with um, plugins like uh, Valhalla Shimmer, for example. Um, this is another example of a plugin like that, where it's a reverb plugin, but I'm not using it like a traditional reverb. I'm going to use it for the sound design of my instruments. Um, here's just a basic sort of Mellotron example uh, again, it's I'm using step effects to give it a little bit of like a like a stutter. So here's without MV in. So there's already a little bit of reverb on it. We can actually turn that off here, and then let's kick MV back in.
So it's really cool. It's like you're hearing the step effects version. You end up hearing like this echo of like legato strings in the background, like that almost undoes uh, the motion of what step effects does to it. Now, being a guitar player, I find this incredibly helpful uh, for really ambient sound design for guitar. So I've just got a basic clean patch pulled up here in Amp Designer. I've got MV pulled up as well. And let's just use this sort of like a, like an endless uh, reverb, endless delay. I'll pull the dry signal down a little bit. I'll pull the regen up a bit. Let's give this a listen. Yeah, so there's all sorts of really cool sound design things we could do with this. Let me switch to a different pickup, and let me pull the dry signal out a bit more, pull the regen up, pull the brightness up, pull the depth up. Let me add a little gain to this, just a little bit of drive. Let's see what that sounds like. Here's just dry. Pull this reverb out on the amp. Yeah, that thing's really crazy. Um, let's try mixing this with some step effects. Let's try to make something that maybe um, has got a little bit of motion to it. So I'm putting the step effects after the reverb. So I'll just pull the wet signal all the way up and let's let step effects do the work. Yeah, so I could sit around all day and play around with this thing. But yeah, that's uh, MV from Air Windows. It's a free 
um, AU component plugin as well as VST plugin. You can check it out over at airwindows.com. I'll leave a link to it in the video description below. Um, yeah, like I said, I could sit and play around with this thing all day long and just play around with ambient guitar tones and ambient synth tones and things like that. I don't find it particularly useful like on drums unless you use like a really low depth setting. But otherwise, it's a really cool plugin for um, sort of like a spacey, endless space, endless reverb um, sort of feedback effect. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please check me out on social media. You can check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on Patreon if you'd like to leave a monthly donation to the channel. If you like the video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.